guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel long time no see it has been about a week since i posted the video i posted was my pregnancy video with my husband and i just want to say thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments and i have gained some new subscribers on here so i just want to say hi and thank you for sticking around and joining the family so today's video is going to be my first trimester recap so today I am 13 weeks pregnant and I'm officially in my second trimester. Before we get started, I want to tell you guys how big the baby is. This week I have a few different apps. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm also going to talk about like all my symptoms I've had and share some products I've been using. My prenatal vitamins, stuff like that. And then at the very end I will show you guys an ultrasound of the baby. So this ultrasound that I have is from 8 weeks. So you know, a few weeks ago, but it's the only ultrasound I have. I won't get another ultrasound until 20 weeks, which is like the anatomy scan. So I can at least show you that. And then the next time I have an ultrasound, the baby will be a whole lot bigger. I can't even imagine how much bigger the baby is now. Let's get into it. I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so the baby, like I said, I'm 13 weeks and the baby is the size of a lemon according to this app and then i have another app it says the baby is the size of a hot jalapeno i think a lemon is cuter so we'll just say the baby is the size of a lemon i hope the lighting's not too dark i feel like if i turn the light on it'd be too orange so we'll just leave it at this symptoms i've had like pretty much the beginning ever since my last video until now like what's been going on we found out i was pregnant I'm pretty sure I was pretty early. I've been thinking like how many weeks was I? That I was about, I'd say almost four weeks pregnant, maybe still in the three weeks. So we found out pretty early. We didn't have an appointment until a month later when I was about eight, between eight and nine weeks. I knew I was somewhere between eight and nine weeks, but I do ovulate later than some people. So I knew I was still between either eight or nine and I was eight weeks and three days. I did not film my first appointment. I did not film telling anyone. So I'm sorry, but I honestly didn't know what to expect because this is my first pregnancy. I was nervous. I was, you know, I was nervous for my first appointment. You know, you don't really know what they're going to say. And yeah, so I didn't film anything. I just wanted everything to be really personable and just in the moment, especially telling people because I was like right before someone found out, my heart was like beating so fast. I was so excited, but so nervous. So the thought of pulling out a camera was just like, nah, <laughs> nah, it's okay. Didn't really have any symptoms after I found out my sickness my nausea and vomiting started about eight weeks so pretty much around my first appointment i started feeling sick and um i did have the sore boobs tmi but that was like before the sickness started and that pretty much went away i didn't really keep track of that they did they were painful like sore but that went away so i didn't really i kind of forgot about that but yeah, the sickness started at about eight weeks and lasted until 11 weeks. So just a couple weeks ago, I started to feel better. Um, there are some days that I'm still like, eh, I feel a little nauseous. And some days brushing my teeth is a chore. That can be a tough one. But besides that, I've been feeling pretty good. As far as like food aversions go and like eating when I was sick, coffee was like a big no-no to me. Just the thought of making it, the thought of even tasting it was, mm, it's weird because I am the type of person to drink coffee every single day, like at least one cup a day. Just the thought of it just completely sounding terrible to me was so weird. But besides that, I didn't really have any food aversions. Just whenever I was sick, I would just eat whatever I could and it would most likely come back up anyway. So that was hard that was very hard there's a couple days where i threw up every single meal and i was like oh my gosh this is terrible but i'm better now i can eat trying to eat healthy but just trying to eat what sounds good at the moment but i am eating decently healthy sometimes drinking a lot of water um i'm still not really into coffee 
I just started drinking the like International Delight coffee that's already made. You just pour it into your cup and that's okay because that tastes more like chocolate milk to me. So I'm still trying to get back into the coffee. But, you know, I'm not forcing myself to drink coffee because, you know, you can only drink so much caffeine when you're pregnant and I'm okay with not drinking coffee. But I still have to get caffeine somehow because if I don't, I will get a headache and rough you guys caffeine headaches are no not fun so if i at least have one soda i don't even like drinking soda to begin with so i try not to drink soda but i try to drink like maybe lemonade or some kind of juice that does have caffeine besides that i've just been drinking that little international delight coffee that's been doing good for me because it's just one cup in the morning and then i'm good so honestly there's really not been a lot of symptoms besides the sickness, which is kind of dwindling down. I don't know if it's going to come back. I kind of hope not. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. There have been other things like TMI things like cervical mucus, a lot of it. Um, constipation, you know, stuff like that. But it's things that I can deal with more. So let's go ahead and get into like my prenatal vitamins, the products I've been testing out and stuff like that. I have one vitamin that I'm okay with that it tastes good, but we'll talk about that one in a second. So this is the Hello Bello prenatal vitamins. I tried these, obviously I ate all of them and I did like these. The only things about these is you have to take three. Normally most gummy vitamins you take two. So I felt like these were going a lot quicker. They're good, but I found out pretty quickly that I wasn't a big fan of the vitamins that had the little like crystal sugar coating on them, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you can just look up a picture of a prenatal vitamin and it may have like a sour looking coating. I didn't really like that for some reason. It's kind of pointless and I don't know why I didn't like that, but um, I did like these. What flavor was this? I don't even know. It didn't really have a flavor. Um, but yeah, these were good. I mean, if I had to repurchase these, I would. But I have one that I'm currently taking now, which is this one. This is the Nature's Bounty Essential Prenatal Gummies in the Mixed Berry Flavor. And I love these. I have a hard time finding this one in stores. So I just stock up on Amazon. I have a stock right now just because I really do like these. And these don't have that um, that crystal coating, which I'll show you what these look like. Oh my goodness. Okay, it just looks like a regular gummy. There's no like sour coating on it. And these taste really good. So I do recommend these, especially if you're having a pretty normal pregnancy. If you need more of something, then obviously I would talk to your doctor. But if you're just looking for a good tasting gummy just to take every day, I do recommend these. I have like two more back up, so I feel like I'm good. Okay, so as far as like body products, like creams and oils and stuff like that, I have two I'm currently using. I wanted to get your opinion also if you know of a like a belly cream that's like really good. Let me know because I have been using these, but I feel like my belly is still really starting to get itchy. I'm trying not to scratch. I know it's not good to scratch it. I don't know. I feel like if I added something else into the mix, maybe good, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so here's the first one. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Tummy Butter for Stretch Marks, and that's what it looks like. It's just in a tub like that i actually found this at tj maxx it's good it's not very creamy it's more of like a balm that's what it looks like if you can see it's not super creamy so i need something i feel like i need something more of like a lotion if you have any recommendations let me know and then i've also been using bio oil which i do like bio oil but yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. So, like I said, let me know. But yeah, I do like bio oil. And oily feels good. Feels good the next day. Like, it feels good for multiple hours. And that's pretty much it as far as body stuff. If I am missing something, please let me know. Because I feel like as I get bigger, I will start to really get itchy and stretch a lot more. Is a Doppler. So, 
This is the Baby Doppler Sunline B. I have used this um, quite a few times. I don't use it every day, but I try to use it every other day. Um, I feel like I hear a lot of mixed opinions on Doppler. Some people like don't use it. It just makes you nervous, anxious. And yes, I could see that, but you just gotta keep in your head that it's okay. Like, you just gotta think, if I don't find it, it's okay, I'll try later. Like, you don't wanna get too in your head about it. And there's nothing wrong with using a Doppler at home, especially in my circumstance, my husband is deployed. So this really just gives me like a peace of mind. It just gives me, you know, like someone's here with me. And if you guys wanna see a video of me finding the heartbeat with this, just let me know in the comments. And I will do that because I'm not gonna do it in this video. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been using and I love this thing. I feel like I covered really all my symptoms. I know there's a lot of women who have a lot more symptoms than me, a lot more sickness and I feel for you. It's, I know I was having a hard time whenever I was sick, but now that I'm kind of out of it, I'm like, okay. Do you have any more questions for me that maybe I didn't cover or if I didn't make sense at some point, just ask them in the comments. Because this is my first baby, I didn't really know what to expect beforehand. That's pretty much it as far as like my first trimester. We'll see how the second trimester goes. It may not be really any different, but we will see. Okay, let me talk to you guys about this too because this is a topic that I've been struggling with. Um, not really struggling with, but just really thinking about. I did have my genetic blood work done this past week so just a few days ago and i should get the results of everything next week and if you guys don't know that thing does include the gender i think i mentioned yeah my husband is deployed and still got a little bit of time left for him to be gone and the thing I've been struggling with is do I want to know the gender right now or do I want to wait until he's home? But this is our first like full length deployment. Like this is the longest we've ever been away from each other. Just the way the timing works out. Can't say when he's coming home and I don't, I can't. So I'm not going to. You know, I could find out the gender pretty much next week. Like I could say yes, tell me. And part of me just wants to know because since he is deployed, um, emotions are pretty high sometimes, so I think if I just knew, I would feel a whole lot better. Even if it's just buying one outfit, if that makes me feel better, I want to do that. So, if I knew, obviously I'm not going to tell you guys until we do a gender reveal, like, telling him through, like, emails. And I'm not going to tell him over email. <laughs> so, if I did find out, I would definitely surprise him. Which I thought would be really fun because... Obviously with my pregnancy like test video, we found out together. So if I could surprise him with at least the gender, that would be so much fun. And and then once he knows, like we can really kick off doing the nursery, shopping, stuff like that. The only thing that I plan on doing if I know the gender is maybe just like an outfit or two, you know, like stuff like that. I'm not going to nursery done, like no. Like we're gonna do that together and that will be like a lot of videos to come like us doing the crib and nursery stuff like that so don't worry i do want to document all of that i did find out the gender next week i would not mention it to anyone i would keep it a secret and then when he's home i would surprise him and then we can really start preparing for the baby. Emotion wise, if I knew, I could feel more like at peace with this deployment, if that makes sense. That's kind of what I've been struggling with, but I don't know, so we'll see. Okay, so let me show you guys the baby because this was from my first appointment and there were four pictures, but Graham took one, which I think is so sweet. So there's the little baby. You can see the little arms and the head and just a little belly like that is so sweet and then i'll show you guys there's the baby and then that little thing right there is the yolk sac which they said that disappears after a little bit i'm not really familiar with how that works but yeah it looks like a little balloon <laughs> um so that's the baby i can't even imagine how big the baby is now like back then, I can't remember what the baby's size was back then. Now it's a lemon. So a lemon's pretty big. Um, 
Wow, five weeks ago. That's so crazy. The baby was the size of a raspberry. So yeah, baby's definitely gotten bigger. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm due July 26th, which is four days before my birthday. So who knows, I may have a birthday baby. Me and the baby may share a birthday. That's so crazy. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't talk too fast, and I hope I didn't miss anything. But yeah, there, like I said, there's really not a lot to say. So yeah. I still can't believe I'm pregnant. Like now that the sickness is gone, I'm like, like I'm pregnant. Like it's so weird. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you wanna see a video of me finding the heartbeat, just let me know and we will do that together. That'll be so much fun. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Hopefully it won't be three weeks later. But you know, with my husband deployed and everything that went on, I hope you guys can understand. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.